ING. Awaiting commands. Neutral. Assuming neutral posture. Step. Moving. Crouch. Stabilizing. Taunt. Primary directive. Kill all humans. Crouch. Stabilizing. Hey guys, I'm Davis. And I'm Aaron. And in this video, we're going to be making a one-way smart mirror. It's basically a mirror with a monitor right behind it, and the mirror is reflective enough so that you can see yourself, but you can also see information on the TV screen. So in this video, we're going to show you how to make your own security camera to keep an eye on your home, valuables, or whatever else. The camera features facial and body detection and can send you an email notification whenever it detects someone in its field of view. The camera is small enough that you can pretty much place it anywhere. You also have the option of streaming live video from the camera through a webcam server. All the materials other than the two pieces of electronics can be found at your local hardware store. So here we have pretty much the whole setup. Uh, for now in the first prototype, I just cut out a piece of really thin balsa wood and cut holes in it, used Velcro strap straps so that it could be kind of in the center part here of the bike. So we brought it out onto the street and immediately people were asking about it and looking at it, which was pretty cool. Uh, and it worked when I brought it out. Um, here you can see it actually changing speed as I speed up. And I wanna show you a first person point of view here. This is what it's like biking for me in New York City, uh, navigating between the cars and everything. Now, I don't have a ton of footage of me riding with it on because uh, in the course of testing it and trying it out and uh, making adjustments, I really ran down the battery on the projector. So by the time... ...video, but it has the name of whatever instrument you have, as well as a little kind of graphical representation. So these are all drum, drum banks. They're all uh, sample based. And then let's get into the actual synthesis. There's three leads. And then the rest of these use the FM synthesis. And they actually all use the same engine. Um, so... And just like that, both halves of the handheld were complete. The only thing left to do was the wiring, which was pretty much the same as I described it in part 1 of this project. 
The only thing that is different this time was the increased number of buttons that all need to connect to the GPIOs of the Raspberry Pi. But as long as you carefully follow the given connection diagram, it should work out just fine. Once everything was wired up, I secured the Raspberry Pi, pushed the protection circuit inside the cartridge slots, flattened out the surface of the battery compartment and reattached two of the screw brackets to the LCD with hot glue in order to close everything up with the given screws. After plugging in the batteries and flipping on the power switch, this project was finally complete and is definitely super fun to play. I hope you liked this video. If so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Consider supporting me through Patreon to keep such videos coming. Stay creative and I will see you next time.